Hi there, my name is Mark Cruz, and this is part two of our full frame mirrorless video series. And in this video, I wanna cover all of the cinematic features that are found in the new Z series mirrorless system. Now keep in mind, I say system because not only do both the Z7 and Z6 share many of the same video features, but the lenses have been designed with video in mind as well. Now, let's start with the lenses and how they were designed to perform amazingly well for any filmmaker out there, regardless of your experience level. The new Z Nikkor lenses were designed to provide superb sharpness and bokeh, but they also incorporate countermeasures to decrease certain effects such as breathing. Now, the new stepping motor used in these lenses means that autofocus is not only fast and accurate, but they're virtually silent as well. Speaking of autofocus, the new hybrid AF system that the Z series cameras use is so smooth and accurate that you'll love the improved usability of AF while in live view or while using the high resolution EVF. With both the Z7 and Z6, you can also record video using the EVF for maximum handheld stability. When recording using live view, you can use the LCD screen to touch part of the scene you want the camera to pull focus to. And if you access the custom settings menu, you can customize how fast or slow you want the autofocus to be. You can even tell the camera to always apply that setting or only apply it while actually recording a video. Whether recording at eye level with the EVF or with the LCD screen, set the autofocus to auto area AF and the camera will not only recognize a face, but it'll focus and track it as well, even when it's one amongst many. By also detecting the upper body of the subject, tracking performance is improved even if the subject turns their head and briefly looks the other way. So what else does the Z7 and Z6 provide to filmmakers? Well, it has all the features that make the D850 so powerful, such as 4K UHD video resolution, or 120 frames per second when recording at 1080p, a 3.2 inch LCD touchscreen, as well as now focus peaking and zebra stripes even during 4K recording. The Z7 also has the same ability as the D850 to create 8K time lapses, which means you can shoot in interval timer shooting mode or have the camera create a 4K time lapse for you in time lapse movie mode. Either way, will allow you to capture amazing sequences, giving you just another way to show off your creativity. But there are some major improvements that have been made that'll help you when you're in the editing room, making these the most video-centric cameras ever created by Nikon. Let's start with the ability to record uncompressed video out to an external recorder. Nikon has had this ability in the past, but it's always been with an 8-bit 422 file. Now the new Z-series cameras can output at 10-bit providing over a billion discrete colors. Also implemented when outputting over HDMI is the ability to now use Nikon N-Log. A log profile helps to preserve more of your camera's dynamic range, but before it's properly graded, it's sometimes hard to judge just what the final result will look like, which is why there's now a view assist feature which will show a corrected view of the footage on screen. For shoots using multiple cameras or when syncing up audio, Time codes have been an important part of the video industry, and both the Z7 and Z6 now have this option. So, between an amazing new autofocus system, new lenses that are designed to give better quality and more customization, and features aimed at giving you more control in the editing room, both the Z7 and Z6 are taking Nikon further into the cinematic world than ever before. Make sure you watch part three of this series to find out more about these new lenses or go to our website to get more information.